Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, in today's video, I have latest updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players, which includes Mohamed Kudus. Coach Chris Hutton has given his final decision on whether Mohamed Kudus should play his final game for West Ham before the AFCON. We are going to talk about that live here on Sports Corner GH. I also have latest updates concerning Inaki Williams, Thomas Pate, and also Antoine Selim Seminole. So guys, today's video is well packed. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much and may God richly bless you. Because today is the 31st of December, shout outs to everyone. If you are watching this video, shout outs to you and thank you for choosing Sports Corner GH. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and I'm going to start with Mohamed Kudus now. Ever since Mohamed could signed for West Ham, he has been very phenomenal for West Ham. Scoring goals, giving assists, performing very well. His popularity among the West Ham fans is growing gradually. Gradually, he's becoming the face of West Ham. If you go to all their social media platforms, it's all about Mohamed Kudus this, Mohamed Kudus that. As much as I would want this to continue, and also many people who want this to continue, Afghan is around the corner, and the Black Stars need their star man, their star boy, Mohamed Kudus, to be part of the Ghana squad. Now, the Afghan will be between the period of 13 January to the 11th of February. Within this period, definitely West Ham are going to miss Mohamed Kudus. And even the coach of West Ham, David Moy, says that they are going to miss Mohamed Kudus to the Afghan, looking at how he has been influential for them quite of late in most of the games they have played. Now, I brought you an earlier report suggesting that Mohamed Kudus would play his last game for West Ham on Tuesday, January 2nd, against Brighton and Hove Albion in the EPO. What we are receiving right now, the new reports we are receiving right now, and this is from Reko Ampofu on Twitter, saying that Chris Hutton says that Mohamed Kudus is not going to play the last game for West Ham. And this is what the tweet says, and I'm going to read it out. He says that Chris Hutton no longer wants Mohamed Kudus to play the game against Brighton and Hove Albion. Ghana were initially open to the idea of Kudus playing on Tuesday. However, Chris Hutton doesn't want to risk any injury and wants the full complement of his squad in camp as early as possible. And I understand Coach Chris Hutton on this point. In fact, I support the coach for this. We don't want to go and lose Mohamed Kudus to injury. So, what if Mohamed Kudus go and play for West Ham against right in the over game and gets injured? What do we do? There is nothing we can do. So it's good the coach is taking this decision. As much as we would want Mohamed Kudus to play the last game for West Ham, so that we we'll all be shouting, yes, Kudus, Kudus, Kudus. It is also important that to note that Mohamed Kudus is also a valuable member for the Black Stars, and he's one of our star players going into this AFCON. We can't just lose him to any, any injuries. So we need to protect our precious assets. So yes, it's good that Coach Rishutin is taking this decision, and in fact, I second Coach Rishutin for taking this decision. Mohamed Kudus should not play that last game for West Ham against Brighton and Over. I mean, fact, as we are speaking, he should be packing his bags. He should come to Black Star Camp. As we are speaking, he should come. He shouldn't play any last game. In fact, I really support the coach for this particular decision. And that brings me back to Inaki Williams. You see, Inaki Williams also has a similar situation like, you know, Mohamed Kudus. Inaki Williams, athletic club where, you know, asking permission from the Ghana Football Association and also from the Black Stars to allow Inaki Williams to play his last game against Sevilla and report to camp on the 4th of January. And as you know, as of yesterday, there were still talks between Ghana FA and also Athletic Club as to whether this is going to happen or not. And also, we saw Inaki Williams training individually because they don't want him to get injured before the Afghan, whether on training grounds or playing against Sevilla. The Black Stars technical team don't want to see Inaki Williams get injured before the AFCON. Let's not forget, Inaki Williams is eager to play the AFCON. So I believe that if this is going to be done to Mohamed Kudus, it should be done to Inaki Williams as well. They should reject all those permissions that are seeking players to play last games before AFCON because you see, anything can happen. Injuries are part, for, are, are part of football. They are part of the hazard of playing football. And we need to safeguard most of our players, especially the star players, before the AFCON. We can't allow them to go and play last game and go and get themselves injured before the AFCON. We really need them. The Black Stars in Ankasa, you're already complaining that it's no good. Then our important players will now go and get injured. Hey, the what will we do? We beg. So this one there is very important. And I support Coach Chris Hutton on this. He shouldn't allow the players to play their last game. Mohamed Kudus shouldn't play that West Ham versus Brighton and Over Albion game on January 2nd, Tuesday. He shouldn't play. Same applies to Inaki Winner. He shouldn't play the last game for Athletic Club against Sevilla. He shouldn't play. He should, they should all return to Blaster Camp as soon as possible so that we can both train 
and then get some familiarity between these players. They can play friendly match against the Nibia and also prepare for the AFCON. So it's very important and I second this decision. Now let's move away from this and talk about Thomas Partey. You see, today, Arsenal played against Fulham. And we're all expecting Thomas Partey to be part of the uh, match day squad. But he wasn't part. He wasn't even included to the bench. He wasn't part. Most of us were expecting that at least... If not anything, crap, Thomas Partey should come and play like five minutes for Arsenal so that we know that oh, okay, he is fit and ready to play for the Black Stars. But we have been seeing him part of the match this squad. And this brings me to, to, to the question as to whether Thomas Partey is going to be part of the Black Stars final squad for the AFCON. It brings me to that question a lot because, you see, tomorrow the squad will be named by Coach Chris Newton at the Alisa Hotel 11 a.m. Most of us are waiting to see which players Coach Chris Newton is going to take to the AFCON. Is Thomas Partey going to be included? If Thomas Partey is going to be included, by now we should see him play some games for Arsenal because we know he's fit. He's ready for selection. Why is it that Arsenal are still not playing Thomas Partey? Is there something that we don't know? Because it's a big question. I was expecting Thomas Partey, even if he wasn't going to play, he should be part of the match this squad. He should just be on the bench. Let us, he should give us a certain kind of vim that Thomas Partey is available to play football and is much fit to play football. But the fact that we are not seeing Thomas Partey gives me a bit of worry, gives me a bit of serious that probably we might not have Thomas Partey play any game for Arsenal before the AFCON. And probably Coach Chris Hilton might name Thomas Partey in the final squad. And what does this mean? Is Thomas Partey coming to you know, play 30, 45 minutes? Is he coming with a physio from Arsenal to manage him to game manage him, make sure that he doesn't play more than the, the necessary games he's supposed to play and all those things. What are the conditions around Thomas Partey? We need to know because he's not part of today's game. Arsenal versus Fulham, he's not part. So most of us are confused. We need to know. So guys, let me know your thoughts about that down below in the comment section. And lastly, let's talk about Antoine Selim Semenyo. Now today, Bournemouth played against Tottenham and we're all expecting Semenyo to start for Bournemouth, but he was on the bench. I think I understand why he would be on the bench because, you see, most of the teams are, you know, sidelining the African players so that they don't get injured before the AFCON. But it is not winning the fact that he could actually play the game in the second half. But I'm just excited that most teams are understanding and coming to terms with the fact that most of the players would have to leave and they have to do without them. So as early as possible, they need to start benching them or they need to start playing without them to see how their teams will be faring. I understand the decision for Bournemouth to keep Antoine Selom Semen not on the bench, but I wouldn't be surprised if he plays the second half. If he plays the second half, then yes, Antoine Selom Semen now is fit and ready to come and play for the Black Stars in the Afghan. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go wide.